Hello, welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Ryan Nyimbi. <laughs> Ryan broke into the first team within the past couple of seasons, however it was the 2017-2018 season that he made the right back position his own. Nyimbi saw off competition for Paul Callis and the younger players coming through the youth system and participated with the defence for the majority of the season until he was hit by injury. That opened the door for the likes of Elliot Bennett and Lewis Travis to stake a claim. Like his fellow defender Derek Williams, Nyimbi performed steadily without grabbing too many headlines and his pace coming forward was a huge asset for Rovers as we returned to the championship at the first attempt. The future for Ryan is a grey area for Rovers as I feel that Naimbi may be a little raw to compete for Blackburn Rovers at right back next season and I feel it's an area that Mowbray may look to improve on over the summer. However, with all that being said, I feel Naimbi scores a solid B- for his performances this season. So let's take a look now at Ryan Nyimbi's uh, statistics this season. All in all, he was involved in 39 games in all competitions for Rovers this season. And that also includes being on the substitutes bench and actually not, not turning out. No goals this season for the lad, but he did have two assists, eight clean sheets. Uh, however, in those 39 games that he was involved in, he did let in uh, 33 goals, which averages around about 0.85 goals per game, um, which translates to 87, every 87 minutes. Um, Blackburn Rovers were likely to concede a goal. Is that correct? I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit, a bit, bit on the fence with that because if he played 30, 39 games, 33 goals. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Anyway, uh, he played 81% of all possible uh, first team football that he was available with. Uh, he was substituted on twice, off three times, and got five yellow cards for his trouble. As for League One only, he participated in 29 games, winning 17 of them, drawing nine and losing three. No goals. Uh, for his efforts. Uh, he was involved in 2,371 minutes of first team football. He was actually on a five game uh, unbeaten run, winning four uh, matches out of five. During the other, he's actually won two of the past two, so two game winning streak. He's actually gone eight games without a loss. Um, he's actually won six of the previous seven games, losing just once out of 27 games, but he's gone 29 games, at least 29 games, without scoring a goal. Uh, he was involved in a six-game winning streak for Rovers. Um, he was also involved in a three-game uh, run without a win. Um, he was involved in the two-game losing streak at the top end of the season. Uh, he's actually gone 18 games without a defeat. That was his record stint. And here's a quick overview of his performances this season. Well, that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.